During the last two decades, ear cropping has become a controversial subject. Arguing that this surgery is cruel, animal rights groups have fought to end it, and they have succeeded, at least in Europe. I'm the Doberman Guy, and this is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Please note that I'm not against or in support of this practice, I just want to show you the arguments of anti- and pro-ear cropping people. In the late 1980s, most European countries outlawed ear cropping, including Germany. In places where ear cropping is still allowed, not all vets believe in it, and few are skilled in the technique. As the circle tightens, many Doberman lovers import their dogs from areas where cropping is still legally performed. The FCI standard no longer previews the cropped Doberman, in fact, not even the tail docking is accepted anymore. The FCI standard changed on August 1st of 2016. In the United States, the American Veterinary Medical Association has pressured the American Kennel Club to prohibit the showing of cropped dogs. However, in the AKC confirmation ring, the most successful Dobermans still carry a beautifully cropped set of standing ears. Dobermans with a floppy natural ears are allowed, but have thus far found no particular favor among judges. In response to anti-cropping efforts in the United States, 24 national breed clubs have formed the National Breed Club Alliance in order to prevent ear cropping bans. Arguments for a ban state that the practice is cruel. Some mentioned that the Doberman and other dogs look less intimidating with the long floppy natural and cropped ears, and that illegally medical surgeries would be reduced. But arguments for maintaining the practice of ear cropping begin by refuting the assertion that the surgery is cruel. No human can speak for a dog. However, Doberman owners who have handled the Doberman puppy through the cropping and ear training observe no change in behavior after the surgery. They say that the freshly cropped ear puppy maintains its endless appetite, continues in rough play with litter mates and other resident animals, and shows no lack of energy. And the cropping advocating continues saying that the original reasons for the Doberman ear crop were to protect it and removing the long fragile part of the ear that removes liability from a protection dog. So, write in the comments what do you think about ear cropping? If you want to be notified of new videos, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.